Welcome to our next video. We're talking about variance. We're talking about standard deviation. Those are very important numbers concerning a random variable. For example, this random variable we were talking already, um, talking about the expected value. So the random variable takes the values 0, 2, and 5 with the given probabilities of 0 0.25, 0 0.25 again, and then 0 0.5. The expected value, as we computed in a different video, was 3. As you can see here, 0 times this plus 2 times this is 1, is, is 1 1.5 plus 2.5. So this times the probability plus this value times the probability plus this value times the probability equals the expected value, which is 3. Now, the variance can be computed with this formula. The sum of the of different products, the product of the probability of a given value times the square of the difference of the value and the expected value, which is very, it seems very complicated. It's not that complicated, but it's not easy either. So here, what can we see? The first probability, the probability of the first value was 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times the value, the first value x1 was 0, minus the expected value. The value minus the expected value, 0 minus 3. Don't forget the square, so this is for the first value. Now the second value, the probability of the second value, 0 0.25 times the difference between the second value, 2, and the expected value, 2 minus 3, to the power of 2, <coughs> and then the third one, the third probability, 0 0.5 times the difference times the square of the difference of 5 and the expected value, which is all in all 4.5. This is the variance. A random variable, most of the random variables we consider have a variance, an expected value and a variance. The existence of the expected value is not for sure, but <coughs> most of them have one. So the variance is 4.5 and the standard deviation we call the sigma square, we denote uh, the variance, and the standard deviation is denoted with sigma, the Greek symbol sigma. So the square root of the variance is the standard deviation, which means the square root of 4.5 equals 1 point, excuse me, 2.121 is the standard deviation here. This is that formula. There is another formula. I don't want to conceal. The second formula is this one. The second formula is the sum of the squares of the values times the probability minus the expected value to the power of 2. So the first value, the first value was 0. The first value to the power of 2 um, times its probability plus the second value to the power of 2 times its probability plus the third value squared times its probability. All in all, we have to compute this, which means open the bracket here and close it here, and then, after all, we have to subtract the square of the expected value, which means expected value is 3, and the square root is 9. So this, as you can see here, as you can compute, is 4.5 again. So the variance in this formula equals 4.5, and no wonder it's 4.5 again in the second formula. And of course, since the variances are the same, so are the standard deviations. The standard deviation again is 2.121. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you.